I'm Whitney Stewart and I'm from New England. I was born in Boston and educated up north and um, professionally I'm a children's book writer. I've been writing books for children and articles for children for 30 years, almost 30 years. I have a background in mindfulness practice. Um, it started when I was in high school. I had an injury which led me to a yoga class back in the 70s, which led me to learn to meditate. And um, I discovered that meditation and yoga and mindfulness practice didn't just help me with my injury and dealing with that, but it really helped me with things that I didn't even know that I needed help with. Mindfulness is the cultivation of present moment awareness that is non-judgmental, non-reactive, and the cultivation of understanding basic goodness, your own basic goodness, and feeling present with that, feeling present in your body, in your space, in the room. This has nothing to do with religion. First, we're going to work on ourself and understanding our own emotions, understanding what triggers us into those emotions, um, learning how to increase the gap between the trigger and the emotional response, learning to develop dis responses as opposed to reactions. So it's not just working well on ourselves alone, but working on ourselves within the community and developing compassion for others, compassion for self and compassion for others, so that we will go out and become more healthful, grounded, mindful, compassionate um, community members. The role of breathing is very important um, because it's one of our basic human functions. So to be able to go and work with the breath is something that anyone can do. You don't need a book to do it. You don't need uh, any kind of certain background. You don't need to wear a certain kind of clothing. You can be anywhere. Um, it is the um, simplest and most basic um, tool for mindfulness practice. You can practice mindfulness every day when you're brushing your teeth. You can practice it eating. Eating is a great time to practice mindful eating. We're all busy in our day and we've got all these emotional feelings or we're watching television and we're just eating and we're just eating and we're not noticing how much we're eating and pretty soon we've just eaten a whole bag of potato chips or we've you know, stuffed ourselves to the point where, you know, we feel sick. Um, mindful eating and mindful practice in general will slow us down to the point where we're saying, oh, there's a real flavor in that food that I just ate. You know, most of us don't taste the food we're eating. Not really. We just gobble it down. The performing artist will often go into a situation, again, with a lot of fear or anticipation. With those emotions, which are often destructive, not always, but often destructive, the performing artist will often create a whole set of um, expectations and assumptions that will distract him or her from the performance itself. If um, the artist can learn to relax, to soften the muscles, to slow down the breathing, to allow some space between an emotion that they're having and the present moment, allow them to go into that performance with a much more relaxed body and sense of um, groundedness, which I believe will help that performance, will calm them down, they won't be reacting to their fear, they won't be tightening up. This is something that needs to be practiced on a daily basis. Therefore, I would recommend for all my students, and I do this myself, is practicing mindfulness every day. It's not something that we can just do once in a while because it really is, um, it's a muscle. It's a, it's a emotional muscle that, that um, needs to be developed.